Are you tired of lag and FPS drops in CS2? In this video, I'll show you how to disable HPET for smoother gameplay, how to unlock your CPU's full potential, and how to optimize your system for maximum performance. Whether you're on a low-end or high-end PC, these tips will help you achieve a much smoother gaming experience in CS2. Let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Disabling HPET to prevent stuttering and FPS drops. In this step, I'm going to show you how to disable a system component that might be causing performance issues. First, right-click on the Start button and select Device Manager. In Device Manager, you will see a list of system components. Look for System Devices and find High Precision Event Timer (HPET). Right-click on it and select Disable. HPET can sometimes cause stuttering or frame drops. By turning it off, your system might run more smoothly with higher and more stable FPS, since it will not be affected by unnecessary timing events. Step 2. Maximize CPU performance by unlocking all processors. In this step, I'm going to show you how to ensure your CPU is using all its available processors for the best performance. First, press the Windows key and search for System Configuration. Open the program and navigate to the Boot tab. Click on Advanced Options and check the box for Number of Processors. From the drop-down menu, select the highest number available. This setting ensures that your CPU utilizes all its cores to their full potential, improving overall performance and responsiveness. Once selected, click OK, then apply and exit the menu. In the first step, open the Counter-Strike 2 Priority folder. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Inside this folder, you will find registry files that control how your CPU interacts with Counter-Strike 2. If you have a low-end PC, use the normal priority registry file. If you have a mid-range PC, use the medium priority option. If you have a high-end PC, use the high priority option. This adjustment helps ensure that your CPU runs more efficiently, improving game performance based on your system's capabilities. By setting the correct priority level, you can achieve a smoother and more stable gaming experience in Counter-Strike 2. In this step, I'm going to show you how to maximize your CPU's performance using an application called Park Control. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. First, install and open Park Control. Once the application is open, scroll down and select the performance profile you want. Click on Bitsum Highest Performance to ensure your CPU runs at its full potential. Next, make sure that the following settings are disabled and set to 100%. Parking AC. Parking DC Frequency Scaling AC Frequency Scaling DC. Then find Bitsum Dynamic Boost and make sure it is enabled. This setting turns off unused CPU threads when performing light tasks like web browsing, but activates all threads when gaming to optimize performance. Finally, go to your power options and select Bitsum Highest Performance to get the best FPS and system responsiveness. Make sure all values are set to 100% for maximum performance. Once everything is set, click Make Active. Then apply to save the changes. In this step, I'm going to show you how to use the MSI utility to improve the performance and stability of your hardware components. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Once the download is complete, open the program to access its interface. Next, locate your GPU model in the list. Since we are using the GPU to reduce latency, check the MSI box next to your GPU model and set the interrupt priority to high. After that, find your integrated GPU, such as Intel. Check the MSI box for it as well and set its priority to high. Once you have applied these changes, click Apply to save the settings, then close the MSI utility. These adjustments help your GPU communicate more efficiently with your system, leading to smoother performance and reduced latency while gaming. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. 
This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. In this step, I'm going to show you how to run telemetry removal to improve privacy and performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Open ONO Shutup 10 and apply only the recommended settings. If it asks whether you want to create a restore point, you don't need to because we already set one earlier. This tweak may affect clipboard history and storage. So if you experience any issues, you can use the undo all changes option to restore everything back to normal. Finally, select do not show this message again, click OK, and you're all set. In this step, I'm going to show you how to optimize your system using the ISLC program. Start by setting the list size to half of your system's total memory. You can check your total memory at the top of the ISLC program window. For example, if it says 32,000 nmi, type 16,000. If it says 16,000 nmi, type 8,000. Check the boxes for Start ISLC Minimized and Launch ISLC on User Logon. On the right side, check Enable Timer Resolution and set it to 0 0.50. Leave the ISLC polling rate at 1000 unless your system is very slow. If it is, then change the polling rate to 1000. After setting everything, click Stop, then Start, and finally click Purge Standby List to finish. To optimize your Windows Power Throttling settings, which is particularly important for low-end PCs, start by pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. In the box type gpedit.msc and press enter. This will open the local group policy editor. Navigate to computer configuration. Administrative templates. System. Scroll down and locate the folder named power management and inside it you will find an option called power throttling settings. Open this option and double click on turn off power throttling. Once the settings window opens select enable to turn off power throttling completely. This feature works on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. After enabling the option click Apply then OK, and close the window. First, open Task Manager by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC on your keyboard. Once Task Manager is open, go to the Startup tab. Here you will see a list of programs that automatically launch when you start your PC. Look through the list and identify any apps you don't need to run at startup. To disable an app, simply right-click on it and select Disable. Disabling unnecessary startup programs helps free up system resources, allowing your PC to boot faster and run more efficiently. After completing all these steps, you should notice a big improvement in your CS2 performance. The results may vary depending on your PC's hardware, but these tweaks can make a noticeable difference. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video for more helpful tips.